The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. Remember that it's possible to have long-form text appear at the right-hand side of the screen rather than a list of Neatline records. To do this, we must exit out of our Neatline editing interface and return to the Browse Exhibits page. From there, we navigate to Exhibit Settings, and if you have the Waypoints widget selected in the Widgets box, you want to close it and add in text instead. So to show that, if I have Waypoints, I want to remove it and then type text and select text from the drop-down menu and then save. Now, when I open my full screen view of Neatline, I should find that a blank area has been added to the right of my map. This is different from that waypoints list that we found in the editor. If I return to my Browse Exhibits page and return to Exhibit Settings, I can now add in a long form narrative in this narrative box and notice that I am able to style it. Let me add in a little bit of default text for us to look at. I'll paste that in and then click Save My Exhibit and reload the full screen view just so that we can see. Now my text has been added in to the right hand side. I can return to my Neatline Exhibit Settings area and I can add some styling. I can click this uh, Enlarge Maximize button to open a full screen editor where I might be able to add a title for my exhibit. And I could also add imagery and other kinds of information into this text box as I would for a Neatline record. Then I'll close and save again. And now I need to open up my editor. The way that this works is I have to provide a link for any record that I want to embed as a hyperlink within the text box. Now in the editor, I do not see that text window and that's okay, it's still there on the public side. Let me now add in a few points. Let's say I want to add in one that's simply titled Durham, North Carolina. And I will add a point to the map to signify Durham. and then I'll save. Now, just with these basic settings, I need to return to the text tab and look at this slug text box that we have ignored up to this point. And we want to add a slug to this specific record that will help Neatline find it and embed it in the text in our uh, long form narrative. So first, I will add a slug, in this case I'll just call it Durham, and I'll need to remember that slug because now I'm going to save and back in my browser go into Exhibit Settings once again, and this time I'm going to maximize my text box and change my view to the source view. I want to be able to see all of the HTML. Then I would want to add in a link to that specific record so that when my user clicks on that link it opens the record for them. I've chosen a bit of text and here I have to manually add in a few bits of HTML code that are specific to Neatline. The first is an open angle bracket span tag and let's go ahead and add the open and closing tags span span and then we need to add a specific identifier that will link uh, using that slug to this little bit of text. The attribute that we need to add to the span tag is something that was created specifically for Neatline called the data Neatline slug. This is data, D-A-T-A, -A, 
dash neat line n e a t l i n e dash slug s l u g equals and then open and close quotations and within those quotation marks i will add in durham that's our specific tag now html is going to be need very specific formatting here so make sure you use only lowercase letters and that every word in this line of code is spelled correctly and matches uh, what you may find in the slug in the neatline record. So now I will close this window and by default now we see only te uh, HTML text in our window. I can turn off source and that will actually hide my span tag but it is still there and I can return to it later if I need to. So I'll save my exhibit and reload this page and reload the public view and in the public view I should now find a little bit of information that's been highlighted over here and this is to signify that a tag has been added and when I click that little line of text now my neat line record appears and I navigate directly to that record this can be repeated throughout my long-form text and I could use a tag uh, for the same neatline record multiple times and I could choose which order they appear and how uh, they appear so whether or not they also appear on the timeline or only in the text or only in the timeline or only on the map.